Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Armed robots kill to save lives. So there's a meeting in the UN headquarters in Geneva to discuss the future of this and to see whether it's not actually a good thing if armed robots can kill people without any human input in real time. I'm just putting it out there now at the start of this, so this doesn't sound like the greatest of ideas, but we'll see how it develops. So far you've got things like drones, so you have the drones which don't have anybody in them and they're flying around and you have the human controller who's playing it like a computer game, but they're actually controlling drones which can then go and kill people and do stuff like that but that you have to have the human controller there for in order for drones to be able to work. So a robot could reduce human casualties. As a human, if you're out in a war zone, you've got to go through and clear a building, you need to make a split second decision when you see someone, are they a threat or are they not a threat? A robot can just stand there for a few seconds whilst they're getting shot at and be like, okay, it's shooting at me, now I can kill this person. And I suppose in terms of speed of reaction, a, a robot could assess and execute in a situation before any human would know what was going on. A robot pilot, well, basically just like a plane without any human in and without a human controlling it, can make multiple passes over a potential enemy encampment to check to see if it actually was a, an enemy encampment. Whereas a human pilot, because of human life, they only want to make one or two passes just in case they got shot down. There have been mistakes in the past where they've bombed places that haven't been enemy encampments and have caused lots of civilian casualties. So one of the worst cases of this was in 1988, radar operators on a US warship ordered the shooting and destruction of a plane carrying 290 people. They thought it was making an attack and run and going to destroy the warship, so they ordered it to be shot down. In fact, it was just taking off from the mainland and robots wouldn't make that mistake. Hopefully. There can also be a balance. So the RAF, RAF brimstone missiles, they're fired. So you say to, you, you know, you press a button, you fire them, you say you're going you're gonna to go to this area of land. Then when they get to that area of land, if there's any tanks there, they then go strike the tanks and hopefully destroy the tanks. If there aren't any tanks there, they detonate safely. So there's no other casualties. But the problem is countries are now using um, radio jamming signals to stop drones being able to control over their airspace. So if you're sending out robots and you're still um, remote controlling these robots and then they get jammed, you've just got this millions, billions of pounds worth of equipment stuck out in the middle of nowhere. So that's another reason for autonomous robots that can just be sent out and make their own decisions as to what to do. I think potentially banning might be a bit much. They definitely need to be regulated, definitely need to be regulated. But there's a possibility for them to be able to save more lives unless is the rise of the machines. So that is armed robots kill to save more lives. Thanks for watching, love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.